Welcome to the channel. I'm Emmett of the Artist. Now, it's been three days since my last video. I really don't like to make videos just because of the sake of making videos. It has to be viable, you know, information and things to talk about, right? And one of the things that has happened in the last week or so is that, well, not a week. It's been rumored for about a week for those of us who follow boxing deeply. But in the media, about a day or two, now Canelo has dropped or will drop the IBF in order to move on right because he, he's gonna they're gonna force him to fight a guy named skull which nobody knows he has like eight ko's nine ko's like sean hempill somebody like this is like his biggest win he has no opposition whatsoever to to, to speak of so so this would be a terrible look for Cabanello. so it's good that he's dropping it's actually very good i know he loses the undisputed um championship title but it's necessary and here's why in recent weeks months there has been one fighter that has been clamoring for a Canelo fight, right? He's been pushing, pushing, pushing. And we all have said, including myself, just because he's Puerto Rican, to me, doesn't warrant a title fight, right? I see many YouTubers out here, you know, who are Puerto Rican, who are will blindly follow any Puerto Rican fighter and also say, you know, they're, they're the best thing in that. This, I'm not that guy. Berlanga does not deserve the Canelo fight. Granted, here's why Canelo dropping the IBF is good for Berlanga. His team has to stay as far away from Caleb Plant. Caleb will sleep him at this point. Don't need that. But I do give Berlanga a good chance against Skull if they were to mandate that there's a mandatory, right? Like there's going to be a fight for the IBF title to be fulfilled. If Berlanga's team can negotiate a fight with Skull, pay whomever he was going to fight next off or cancel the fight, I don't know what's going on. But let's say he, Berlanga goes through the water fight he got, he, he got going on now, wins. I would petition the IBF to get that fight and get the IBF title. Why? Because now you have a chip to negotiate against Canelo. Now you're a champion. That's something. The Puerto Rican crowd in New York, right? Puerto Rican people, trust me, we're crazy. He's a champion. You can sell it. I'm not sure if you'll get $35 million like he got from Munguia because Munguia has a much better resume, bigger following, longer standing, you know, uh, media presence. But Berlanga speaks English. He's from New York. He's young. He has a mouthpiece. He's Puerto Rican. And if he holds a belt like Canelo drop, and then it can become undisputed once again. That's why it's good. Even if that fight doesn't happen with Berlanga the way I'm thinking it should, if it was going to go that route, it's still good that he dropped it. It sends a clear signal to the boxing world. Belts don't mean anything. I don't need the belt. You can have it. I just like it because it looks good on me. It looks good in pictures. And it looks good just saying yeah, I'm a champion. But I don't need it in order to be called Canelo the guy, the man, the champion, the guy at 168. I'm the man. You don't need belts for that. And it's starting to sink in into some people, into some fighters. Now, this could also mean I'm negotiating for Terrence Crawford. That's a whole different story. That's a horse of another color. But for right now, I think the Berlanga one is the more likely thing to, to, to do. I think Canelo would take another paycheck. With Berlanga, because he will have a big draw, and then move on to Terence Crawford. Let Terence Crawford get one year older. If he gets by Majumov, if I make a video about that when the time comes. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think that this is really, this is, could happen? What happens when he drops the IBF title? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, I'm now on Rumble. I'm starting to back up my videos there, just in case you never know. Things happen on, on you know, YouTube, but on there, I'm already monetized. So please, if you like Rumble and, you be on that, and you're on that platform, go over there and take a look. Same name, Boxing Unwrapped. Until next time, and I'm out. Peace.